you know, maybe when they were teaching us in the power plant all these squats and all these calisthenics, maybe they should have shown us, you know, how to work. And, uh, you know, and, and that's that's the only the one thing I had against the power plant is, is I really didn't learn anything. I didn't learn anything from Paul Orndorff, and I really didn't learn anything from, 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 from Sarge. You know, tons of respect for Sarge, but... Paul Orndorff was in his office, you know, most of the day. He didn't he didn't teach us anything. I'm a big hip hop fan, and Jim Cornette's not. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I remember one day he said, "Yeah, I got some new music for you and you and Lance." And I said, "Yeah, well, what is it?" And he's like, "It was something like ACDC or something." I said, oh, "I really didn't sell it that much." I was like, "Oh, cool." And he's like, "What? Because it's not fucking hip hop. Because it's not fucking rap. Fuck, 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 fuck. I hate fucking rap." So who ultimately made the decision to pull you out of evolution? Well, what happened was, uh, you know, I was in the group shooting the vignettes, and, and the time was coming. You know, Orton did a fantastic job as the third member. Um, so then when, you know, they wanted to make it more a group of four, you know, groups always work in four, like the four horsemen and stuff. So uh, they wanted to bring in a fourth member, and um, and they started, I believe, uh, hyping it up on TV, like who's going to be the next, the, who's going to be the next member? And all along, I knew it was me, of course. And I shot all the vignettes, but God, I can remember, and it was almost like slow motion. It was like a nightmare because I, I saw exactly what was happening. I thought he was very clumsy, but more so, I thought it was it was he did it on purpose. So I, I went backstage, and I was I was bleeding. I I, um, I was screaming, and at this point, he was cutting a a, a promo in the ring, saying, you know, da 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 da, this foreigner can't come here and do this and do that, and building our angle and, and I'm glad I didn't but there was a split second for maybe uh, I, like two or three seconds where I felt I was going to walk just strut back down the ring and just whip his ass just I, I envisioned myself punching him until his fucking eyeballs popped out I mean I, it was it was pretty intense and pretty crazy to the point where somebody they saw how angry it was and how I was just standing there you know in two Paco Alonso has two guys under him. One's called Juan Manuel, and the other guy's called Panico. Kind of like, you know, the two guys below. And I remember I remember them saying, you know, calm down. I, I told them to shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. I mean, blood was just squirting out of my head. Um, a, an Edicon, who a ring girl, actually passed out. She saw that. She passed out in the back. My girlfriend was Colombian. She's got, a, at the time, my ex-girlfriend. She's a loud mouth. She saw what happened. She runs backstage, and she's bitching. So, I mean, everything's going on. Somebody sent, wa wa actually walked out to the ring and told him, do not come back here. You come back here, you're gonna get, he's going to fucking kill you. He's going to fucking kill you. And I would have fucking killed him. I went to AAA, and, yeah, I had my fans and stuff, but I think I, I made a mistake by going to AAA. I should have never went to AAA. Um... I digressed a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the Reno, Mexico crowd was mine. You know, all in all, I want to get over in Mexico, Mexico City. That's the Mecca. You know, I I, I care about the Mexican people, but, you know, I, I don't really particularly care if I have to go four or five hours outside to do a show in Leon, Guanajuato or something. You know, like, yeah, there's fans there, but just not, not the... The extremity, you know, like it, it's almost like if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Right. My my thing is, you can make it in Mexico. If you can win the fans in Mexico, you can you can make it anywhere in Lucha Libre.